Hey Lexi, uh, congratulations. You are the only one in class that's getting a uh, review of your spot news photos uh, just because of uh, the amount that you shot and the different things that you shot. Uh, it definitely deserves my attention and critique. Uh, I apologize for the dishwasher in the background. All right, let's go. Looks like a little fender bender. Whenever I, anything that I get out of my car for, I always look around and see if there's anything like clever in the background that would, uh, not to make fun of anything that's going on, but um, wow, some of the tree is missing. It's crazy. Um, I don't know, just keep an eye out for things going on in the background. Don't be afraid to get closer. It looks like you have a long enough lens that's it's doing the trick. Yeah, so you're you're fine where you are. Now you're just waiting for them to do their thing and hopefully a moment happens. It doesn't look like one really happened. Um, but don't be afraid to stand there with your camera pointing their way and just, you know, hold down the shutter. Um, this is an accident that might have been preventable if, for some reason and you know your photos as a journalist could lead to the city improving whatever conditions might have caused the accident so you're not uh you're not violating anybody's rights you're not stepping on anybody's toes you're just there to document you know what's going on in your community so don't feel bad about it. Uh, watch the feet and toes. The first couple were all right, but then you got a little crazy here. Um, all right, on to another situation. Just keep on going. Good for you. No, maybe it's the same situation. What's the deal here? Let's see. Let me look at the dates. 11-12-12. It's the same date. So this looks like a wreck. And we have standing water. It's kind of ironic. I see the irony. And then we have, this must be a fire with all the fire engines. You were just following the scanner one day, weren't you? That's what you were doing. Look at the times. No, well, these are all right on top of each other. I don't know what you're doing. Um, this one's really close. I like the guy on the left. I like him better in in this. No, I like him better in this photo, but I like the separation in this photo. Ooh, cool reflection. Keep an eye on that. Well, there's a raft. What is this guy doing? He needs to zip up his waders. This is an interesting situation. Some kind of broken water main or slow, no wake. All right, so this is something that happens often. This is like a high tide issue. Um, so not really spot news unless something happened, unless it caused something to happen. Or if it was like a once in every 100 years flood or something, but it looks like it might happen like once a month at least. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at you. You are Johnny on the spot. You, you nailed this limb. Uh... Basically, you broke the story wide open. Um, I like it. You're driving around looking for things, and you're finding them. And this is this still the same day, the 12th? This is just like that day. I think I'll go out and look for photos and look at all this stuff you're finding. Not even not even talking about the limb, all the other stuff you're finding. Yeah, and imagine what you could do if you made a career of this. Um, all right, this would be good if these people had feet. 
Um, and if you can, uh, obviously take the first photos you see, but then try to improve it. Um, yeah, we really don't need to see the victim's face. I was going to say move around to your left so we could see the victim's face, but we really don't need to see it. It's um, We don't want to cause him more pain or anguish. There's, you know, there's no reason to. He didn't rob a bank or anything. Um, God, look at all those airbags in the car. Um, he, I'm sure he's fine. His glasses aren't even broken. Wow, that's a nice one. This is a good angle back here. I wish you would have found this when the patient was being treated but um oh you kind of did it just looks better in those other photos uh do you know what this stuff is on the ground here you probably do all of this it's whenever there's a a fluid leak um usually uh, oil or gasoline it's uh, kitty litter and do you know the kitty litter places like uh, I don't know who makes ty tidy cats and whatever uh, they make more money selling kitty litter to uh, fire and rescue than they do for cats so that's just a little we would eventually learn that from Alex Trebek if he had lived longer ooh Oh, oh, that's really good. Let's tag that one. Kind of like, I mean, it it doesn't matter. I mean, it it doesn't have to tell the exact story. I, you know, this isn't his vehicle. I'm, I'm guessing maybe it is, but even if it's not, it's kind of like you know, oh, he's on the phone trying to explain to whoever that he was in a wreck. We're not supposed to call him accident. We're supposed to call them Rex. Um, now I just need him like rubbing his head. Ooh. Can't really see the phone. Oh, come on. Oh, come. Mm. It was close. I think that other one's still the strongest. That is like the most giantest cop I've ever seen. Ah. Uh. All right, did you notice that it's that the wreck happened in front of a law firm? That's kind of funny. So, um, you know, keep an eye out again for those things in the background because um, that, you know, it's probably not the photo the newspaper would have run, but it's probably the one that would have made it into your portfolio somehow if there was some kind of moment with that worked in in the background. Who knows? So this is the one you turned in for your, this guy just needs to know it's going to be okay. Is that the one? Yeah, the other one is way better. Um, one of these, the one of them pointing is one that you turned in. I don't know if it's way better. Let me see. I forget which one it was. I think it's that one we're just gonna say it's that one we'll compare oh those are cool little collapsible cones uh, great job covering this you walked all the way around spent a lot of time there ooh someone hit their head hope they're okay should have been wearing their seatbelt. Oh, there he is. Uh, we need the wrecked car. That 
guy is a lieutenant, I believe. Or, I don't know. He could be a captain. He could be his, I don't know what I'm talking about. He's something. Traffic homicide, uh-oh. I bet it wasn't a homicide, though. They'd have police tape up. Hmm. Some interesting body language. Stayed there for the tow. I always take photos of signs too, just so I know exactly where I am, like take an address, a building address or a street sign. So 10 years from now, you'll know exactly where this was. All right, um, good job. Let me look at those two. Wow, that's one, that's a pretty impressive. All right, this one. <laughs> uh, they're probably equally as good. I really do like this one though. You wouldn't need to do anything to it either. Well, I might crop uh, this little sliver off, so crop into the blue and then come down from the top, you know, that much. Um, just a little sliver. There's stuff leaking out. Anyway, alright, uh, great job.